this is a very unique episode of TFL Camper Corner because it's a very unique motorhome. It's basically one of a kind. Now let me explain. You see this motorcycle right here, this KTM? Well, we're gonna put it inside this motorhome. This is a brand new 2021 Newmar Canyon Star front diesel. Yes, it's a diesel chassis. It's a class A. It's very unique. This is only from Newmar. And it also has a toy hauler section, garage. This is a luxury home with a bedroom, kitchen, everything else. But it also has a garage for your toys. <laughs> Let me show you. And of course, this video would not be possible without our friends at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Use the link below. They're in Frederick, Colorado. They have this motor home and many others for sale. at the Class A motorhome, they're usually a couple of different kinds. There's usually a gas V8 or V10 chassis with the engine in the front. And then there's also the diesel pushers, basically diesel engines in the back. And when you look at the rear end of this particular Canyon Star, it doesn't look very much different from a regular Class A, but this is actually a door because the engine is in the front. Of course, this is not completely brand new. Newmar has had a toy hauler Class A motorhome for several years that was gas powered. And if you notice for 2021, they completely redesigned the look of the front of the bus and of course the rear and the rest of it really. So check this out. When you go underneath here, there's this yellow latch and there's another little lock on it. You see this little lock? So you pull this down, you release the latch and of course I forgot to take off the ladder. Gotta release this ladder from the door and it's very easy. Actually just four little pins. Boom. And you kind of lift it up. Then you fold it together and you can actually stow it away in the garage if you don't need it. And the door is not gonna squish you. It's a manual operation. So it's not like a hydraulic door or anything. It's actually, I have to use my weight to kind of pull this door down. You see this cable system? It's really nice, I love this because it's very close to the body. Some other motorhomes um, or some other trailer doors actually have cables that run all the way down to this end of the door and then you're always running into that cable, but this is a nice system. This door uh, becomes a ramp. This door can hold up to 4,000 pounds. The garage is only about 10 feet deep, so it cannot be used for like a full size four person side by side but it can be used for motorcycles quads ATVs maybe even small side by sides so let's load up the bike did you know that we have a brand new TFL bike channel and I'm very lucky because behind the camera right now is Alex who runs our TFL bike channel and he brought his KTM bike and he's gonna help me load it and kind of check out this garage and give his two cents on it. Because if I was to move his motorcycle up here and if I dropped it, he would have my neck. So please check out TFL Bike for independent and honest reviews. It's a thumper. It's a thumper. Let's <laughs> load it. Alex, you made it look very easy. Did I? Yes. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, the ramp's a little steeper than I thought it was going to be, but um, if you're used to loading into pickup trucks, it's not too bad, and it's got a really grippy texture on it, so we're in a muddy parking lot, and I still had traction the whole way up. All right, what do you think about these provided um, wheel chocks? So I usually love wheel chocks, because uh, they make it really easy to load bikes, but it's a little too big for my KTM. Um, if I was loading like my Yamaha, I might put the back wheel in there. It might work like that. This has a really skinny back tire, so uh, I can't really use the wheel chocks, but that's not a big deal because look at all these tracks down here. There's three of them, and um, yeah, they have these little tie downs, so I would just use that to secure the bike. So here's these little tie down points. They just kind of insert into here. You rotate and they lock in just like that. So I'll put one on each side. 
Nice, and I think this garage uh, with these chocks is really meant for like big Harleys, right? Yeah, totally. Big bikes with big tires, that's for sure. But you don't have to put bikes in here, like we said, you know, maybe an ATV or something else. Yeah, you can tie down anything, um, especially with these rails, put whatever you want back here. So yeah, then I'll just take my strap and go around uh, the bottom triple tree here, loop it through. So I really like these straps because they have soft tie down loops, they're motorcycle specific, so you don't scratch up uh, your forks or anything, and uh, basically I just have the strap going around the bottom part of the triple tree up front, and then the other end with the carabiners coming down to the tie down. So same thing on the other side, and I always do the right side of the bike first, because uh, you can kind of use the kickstand to cheat a little bit, so you can see now the kickstand's kind of floating in midair exactly what you want. It's a floater. So you've done a couple of reviews of this KTM already, right? I have, and uh, we didn't launch the bike channel when I did them, so we actually have a pretty fun video over on TFL Car where I raced Tommy in his Mini Cooper. Yeah. So if you're interested in checking that out, we went to IMI and also Bandamere, so some uh, short circuit and also a little bit of drag racing in there. Pretty fun video. Last strap right here, cinch it down. And then go to the other side, get the last one nice and tight. There we go. Easy as that, we're all strapped down. So if I owned this toy hauler and I was hauling bikes around with it constantly, I'd probably take this wheel chalk out and get one that fits properly or just not use it at all and just run the uh, front tire right up against this wall here. And there's tons of texture there, looks pretty durable, I'd have no problem doing that. And then, uh, then the bike has something solid to chalk up against so it doesn't roll around. Another reason why I love toy haulers is because you have room to sleep more people, more friends, bigger families. Here's a little power switch for lowering the beds. So check it out. So in this case, the upper bunk is actually locked with pins. You see that pin up here? So it stays in the up position. And this kind of slash dinette slash bed is lowering by itself. You can lower both of them at once and then set them up and sleep up to four people in here. So there are these legs down here. There you go. Now there's also this dinette table so you can have meals in here as well. You can open up your windows. Right now the blackout shades are actually lowered. So these cushions tumble, they can be a bed like this or they can also be a couple couches. And right here in the middle is where you would put your table if you wanted one. Or you can just chill and watch your race from here, I guess. All right, enough back here. Let's check out the main cabin. All right, so. What you did not see me do is actually move the slides out. So now there is more space. So obviously this is the bedroom with a slide all the way out. You have another TV here. You have your wardrobe in here. Pretty large. And this is a little bit more luxurious than some other motor homes. I'll tell you the price at the end of this video. But check out these um, controls. These are the light controls. You can dim them make them brighter right here is the switch for the slide for the bedroom it's right here by the door if you want privacy there's a sliding door right there then now we're at the restroom and kitchen area this is a full bath with a shower let's get the lights on so it's pretty well done right nice sink uh, full shower with a little skylight and even taller folks can feel comfortable in here. Um, you can see there's plenty of plenty of headroom right here. That's very nice. Next up, you have a fridge. This is brand new, so it hasn't been fully kind of prepared. Pretty large fridge, nice. Microwave, yes. Big, huge induction stove.
Big sink. Double sinks, deep. Nice. It's basically a luxury home. Of course, you have to have another TV, right? This is your dinette that can convert into a small uh, bed area as well. Pretty nice couch. Oh, it's pretty soft actually. Over the entry door here in the front um, is also your control panel. Um, this is the other button for the slide out for the main portion for your living room in the kitchen. Also awning control, all the other systems are here and your battery disconnect where you can kill everything so you don't drain your batteries. I love this, the driver area. So first of all, you may have seen, we've done other um, TFL Camper Corner videos with some Freightliner chassis motorhomes. So the way it works is Freightliner provides the chassis, the power plant, the drivetrain, and of course, Newmar builds everything else around it. Um, if you see right here down below, there's a little foot pedal and that controls my steering wheel. So very much like other Freightliner chassis, so you can get very comfortable Here are your gauges. And of course, two humongous screens. Right here, you can see the rear camera. And um, actually, I'll show you in a second, but this also has side view cameras. So let's fire up this diesel, which is actually somewhere below here. All right, the engine comes to life. This is actually a 6.7 liter Cummins, straight six. So familiar engine to you if you know uh, Ram trucks, pickup trucks, other commercial vehicles. 340 horsepower, 700 pound-feet of torque, um, and I have my automatic transmission controls right here. This motorhome has a gross vehicle weight of 30,000 pounds, so it's a big boy, um, and also has air brakes. So in order for me to get going, I would have to put my uh, foot on the brake, release my parking brake, which is down here. Do you see the yellow parking brake? There it is. And then I can go to either drive, six gears, or reverse. Using your blinkers, you can also see the side view cameras that are mounted near the side mirrors. And right now I'm not ready to drive, obviously, uh, because my slide outs are out, my doors are open, my rear garage is open. Uh, yeah, I have to pack up first. Here I have a power shade up front. It can be just like a sun visor, like this, when you're driving. Or when the engine is not running, you can actually bring it all the way down. There's another visor. There it is. So you can kind of have a see-through, a little bit more see-through visor right there. Or a full blackout, you, you choose. Then there's a generator, which is actually located near, underneath the driver's seat. You can get to it from the outside. You can always power that and run your air conditioners. Usually when you talk about a diesel Class A, it's a diesel pusher, like I said, and the engine is in the back. And that's usually not super, super great for towing because you have a side-mounted radiator usually for those guys. But here the engine is in the front, the radiator is in the front, you get a lot of air coming in, so it's easy to cool off the engine, easy to cool off the transmission. So you can actually uh, tow happy, although this engine is not very powerful. Like I said, let me show you the hitch. So here's a two inch receiver. It's rated to up to 6,000 pounds. Yeah, I know. So it's not a very heavy duty machine for towing, but it can do everything else, obviously. Here's your seven pin connector. And this bad boy, this overall motorhome has a payload of around 3,800 pounds. So it, it still can carry a lot of weight. A couple other things, your propane tank is up here on the passenger side. Very easy to get to. Also quite large. There is an infotainment system here. So if, in case you're keeping track, uh, this machine has five TVs now. So if you, if you want TVs, it's got it. Here's a little screen on the outside. You can fold it open like this and slide it. There's four TVs inside. How many more TVs do you want? I don't have the awning out fully, but it has a gigantic awning. 
Also a stereo system right here on the outside. So you can have a small party, of course. A little bit more storage, other tanks. This is an 80 gallon fuel tank. Um, also plenty, plenty of water, gray water and black water capacities. So it has all that, of course. More storage, access to wiring and fuses. Right here on the driver's side and back, this is really cool. Um, this is basically, well, first of all, this is your shore power. But then, this is also a fuel system to fuel up your toys. So motorcycles, ATVs, anything. So it has got an additional fuel tank and a pump system, and this is where you fill it. And then the pump system is here. You can also control it right here with your fuel pump. It will show you the level of the fuel. So yeah, that's really neat and plenty of storage. Also on the driver's side, there is this water station system. This coach has been winterized for water right now because we're already into November in Colorado, but also a little shower capability outside. Oh yeah, um, I promised you the price, right? So the list price on something like this is around $268,000. Of course, there's deals going around all the time, so you would have to call the dealer to actually find out exactly what's going on. Base price is around 238. So you have some options you can add, you can subtract, you can get different colors. By the way, this motorhome is fully painted, no stickers on the outside. So uh, yeah, you have options, but I gotta hit the road. I'll see you in the next one. And go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real world motorhome reviews.